And sometimes it's not, there's nothing wrong with them. It's yeah. just that I just didn't think we were a match. And, and it's not, it's, it's an intangible. You mm -hmm. can't put your finger on it. When you say we're not a match, it's like, it's, I don't feel enough to want to explore it. And again, mm -hmm. chemistry is a fickle thing. Sometimes you can have a good date, but it still doesn't mean you're with the right, per you know, you're with the right person. All right. I just want to give props to Weejin who says, Jonathan, thanks to your live love education. I'm learning how to be a wife. It's brand new role to, for me to learn. And we're still rereading eight dates every Sunday, Sunday sunset walk as our ritual. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. That's awesome. All right, folks. I thought we, I hope we, answered your questions on how to tell a man what you want in the early part. Hope you got value from the uh, Q&A. Um, as I said a moment ago, we're celebrating one year together. I can't believe how quickly this year went by. It did. It went by really fast. And we did a lot of trips together. I mean, we we traveled at least over seven or eight times together. We um, obviously moved in together. Um, while I don't profess that we're the role models, what I can say is this. What I most appreciate about our relationship is coming back to communication, is that we make a conscious effort to communicate the good stuff and the not good stuff. And we bring it up in the moment or near to the moment so we can unpack it. And we do it as grownups because we both believe we'd rather be right or we'd rather be happy, excuse me, than right. Correct. Okay. So that's my invitation for everyone.